You do not need to be a victim of worry. Worry is one of the most unhealthy and destructive of all mental habits. You were not born with the worry habit. You acquired it. And because we can change any habit and any acquired attitude, you can cast worry from your mind. Why should we take the worry problem seriously? The reason is clearly stated by Dr. Smiley Blanton, eminent psychiatrist, who says, anxiety is the great modern plague. A famous psychologist asserts that fear is the most disintegrating enemy of human personality. And a prominent physician declares, worry is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Another physician tells us that thousands of people are ill because of what he calls damned up anxiety. These sufferers have been unable to expel their anxieties which have turned inward on the personality causing many forms of ill health. The destructive quality of worry is indicated by the fact that the word itself is derived from an old Anglo-Saxon word meaning to choke. If someone were to put his fingers around your throat and press hard, cutting off the flow of vital power, it would be a dramatic demonstration of what you do to yourself by long-held and habitual worry. What then is a practical procedure which will help to eliminate abnormal worry from your experience? Practice the process of mind drainage. This should be done preferably before retiring at night to avoid the retention by the consciousness of worries while you sleep. During sleep, thoughts tend to sink more deeply into the subconscious. The last five minutes before going to sleep are of extraordinary importance. For in that brief period, the mind is most receptive to suggestion. It tends to absorb the last ideas that are entertained in waking consciousness. This process of mind drainage is important in overcoming worry. For fear thoughts, unless drained off, can clog the mind and impede the flow of mental and spiritual power. But such thoughts can be emptied from the mind and will not accumulate if they are eliminated daily. To drain them, utilize a process of creative imagination. Conceive of yourself as actually emptying your mind of all anxiety and fear. Picture all worry thoughts as flowing out of you as you would let water flow from a basin by removing the stopper. Repeat the following affirmation during this visualization. With God's help, I am now draining my mind of all anxiety and fear. This procedure may be further strengthened by imaginatively thinking of yourself as reaching into your mind and one by one removing your worries. A small child possesses an imaginative skill superior to that of adults. A child, for example, responds to the game of kissing away a hurt or throwing away a fear. This simple process works for the child because in his mind he believes that that is actually the end of it. Therefore, hold an image of yourself as delivered from worry, and the drainage process will in time eliminate abnormal fear from your thoughts. Then, upon draining the mind, Practice refilling it with thoughts of faith, hope, courage, expectancy. Say aloud such affirmations as the following. God is now filling my mind with courage, with peace, with calm assurance. God is now protecting me from all harm. God is now protecting my loved ones from all harm. God is now guiding me to right decisions. My good friend, the late Howard Chandler Christie, the famous artist, had a sound anti-worry technique. Scarcely ever have I known a man so filled with the joy and delight of life. Once I asked Mr. Christie, Howard, don't you ever worry? He laughed one of those big laughs of his. No, not on your life. I don't believe in it. Well, I commented, 
That is certainly a simple reason for not worrying. In fact, it almost seems too simple. You just don't believe in it, therefore you don't worry. But haven't you ever worried? I asked. He replied, well, yes, I did try it once. I noticed that everybody else seemed to be worrying, and I figured I must be missing something. So one day I made up my mind to try it. I set aside a day as my worry day. The night before my worry day, I went to bed early to get a good night's sleep so that I would be rested up to do a good job of worrying the next day. In the morning, I ate a good breakfast, for you can't worry successfully on an empty stomach. And then I got at my worrying. Well, I tried my best to worry until along about noon, but it just didn't make sense, so I gave it up. But, I insisted, you must have some other method for overcoming worry. He did indeed, and it is perhaps the best method of all. Every morning, he said, I spend 15 minutes filling my mind full of God. When your mind is full of God, there is no room for worry. Having filled my mind full of God, then I have the time of my life all day long. Well, I think Howard Christie had a wonderful method for overcoming worry. So spend 15 minutes daily filling your mind full of God. Cram your mind full of the I believe philosophy, and you will have no mental room left to accommodate thoughts of worry and lack of faith. You will learn to break the worry habit.